Welcome to Bashua's Moment with Pastor Charles Chiaga. Yes, praise the Lord, brethren. We are back again on our program called the Pashua's Moment. And I'm your servant, always, as always, on this program, bringing you a message, a unique message which you will not hear about in many, many, many forums or in, on many, many platforms. But uh, thank you for being always out there, uh, ready and, and waiting to tune in to these messages. And I want to, to uh, welcome, back, welcome people back from our, our dependence conference yesterday where we are declaring dependence on God. And I believe God did amazing things and I know our lives will not remain the same. Let us continue to depend on God. Yesterday, we studied about Adam naming animals when God brought them to him. And we are now going to read verses 20. Verses, uh, Genesis chapter, chapter 2, verses 20 says, So Adam gave names to all cattle, to the birds of the air, to every beast of the field, but for Adam, there wasn't found a helper comparable to him. But Adam, there wasn't found a helper comparable to him. Now, as I told you, you know, that's why you, make, you need to make God a friend. Because you will never even know what you need. The things we, we want in life are not really what we need. Sometimes the things that you even spend a lot of time praying about that we think we, we need are not the things we need. Those so-called wants of ours, sometimes they are, to, they are things to destroy us. So Adam did not have a prayer request in him because he did not even know that he was missing anything. But now God brings an experience to him. Every animal Adam was naming they were coming in pairs, a male and a female, a male and a female. Ah, now Adam sees one going with the other, this one going with the other, this one going with the other. Now, it is when now Adam begins to imagine, eh, Kumbe, I'm alone. Every animal they are in pair. Me, I'm alone. So now he, 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 he discovers he has a prayer request. Many times, the things we pray about are not the things we need. You can never pray about anything you know nothing about. Many times our prayers are linked about what we see with other people. But you are not, you're unique in yourself. Every one of us, you're unique. And the calling and the destiny on your life is, none, is, is, not, is not compared to any other. You are a unique masterpiece. It is only God who knows what is best and what is missing around and about you. That's why when you make God a friend, you will always think about it ahead of time. So he thought about the fact that Adam was missing something before Adam even knew. Now he brings a situation to Adam for Adam to understand he has a need for him to have a prayer request so that he can talk to God and say, but my father, I saw every animal that was coming the way at two. But me, I'm alone. Where is my other pair? So you can only pray out of the realm of knowledge and experience that you're exposed to. There is a lot you don't know about yourself. And you will never pray about those things. Until when you get before God and God whispers to you and he tells you, you know, you are praying to remain on this village. But for me, your, the calling on your life is to the nations. You are not a person to be here. You are a person to go to nations. And then you begin to pray. You see a prayer need. But before you come before God, you can never see that as a need. You'll be comparing yourself to your family mates, to your relatives. And you say now, since my sister uh, uh, also, or my brother also bo bo built this house, which is only one, one door, I, I also ask God to help me to build a house of only one door. Just because that's, that's, what, that's the knowledge, the scope of knowledge and experience you have. But when you go to God 
Who knows the mind he has about you? He says, I know the plans, the thoughts I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for good, not for evil. To give you a future, an unexpected end. So, God is the one who knows the plan. Now, for us to know what we are supposed to be, we need to go to God. And then God will unveil the plan. When I tell you to seek God, I'm not telling you to, to do anything strange. You're not doing it for me. In the pursuit of God, you are also seeking out yourself. You are also seeking out what is the reason, what is the purpose for which you came to be. What is the call on your life? What is the destiny upon your life? You will be, it will be unveiled to you when you go to meet God. Who predestined it before you, before you were born, before you were even formed in your mother's womb? So the pursuit of God is not strange, should not be strange to anyone. Should be something that resonates with anyone because none of us knows what we are crafted to do. Only God knows. So Adam did not see a need until when God created a situation. I imagine God did this to Adam. Eh? Besides for him to participate in the creation uh, uh, project, he also wanted him to realize he had a need so that he can have a prayer request. I know the Bible says we pray and we don't receive because we pray amiss. We do not know what to pray and how to pray. So if you want to be a good prayer warrior, a person who prays on, on target, you need to be a friend of God. You need to be a God seeker so that God will speak to you. God will teach you to be able to pray properly. The Holy Spirit helps us in our limitations because we do not know how to pray and we do not know even to pray for those things we need to pray for. He prays with groans that cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit. So when we come to God, God will will unveil his plan to us and will pray on target. So when I tell you to seek God, it shouldn't be strange. When you seek God, you are seeking yourself also. You are discovering who you are. You don't even know who you are. You are highly and fearfully made. There is a, a great call around you. You are a great project and you are God's project. Only God knows how he packaged you and what you are here to accomplish. Let's seek God and be able to discover who we are. May God bless you as I wait for you tomorrow. We shall have a prayer vigil here on the mountain every Friday. Join us as we pray to seek the Lord. God bless you. Eyo yeba de pursuers moment. Nge kutusudwa ke somalia pursuers junior school. Eri sangi bo mubutambala ku kubali ampiji gombe. Kati ulire nkize eriwo. Singo twalo mwana oku pursuers junior school. Interviews za bwedeli. Esomero limiride ku musinjo gutya katonda. Atengo mwana agunjulwa bakugu. Tutumbule bitone byenja ulu mwana. Tulina amazama yonje ku somero. Atengo mwana wasomera ne wiyebaka. Abanga mukungu. Endya yaba yizi nunji byansoso. Anti emere tujirimira ngane famu yete weli ku somero. Tulina motoke zitambuza abana. Pursuers junior school ebutambala. Tuso mesaba na ukufa mbebi kilas Okutuka kuchibine echo musamfu Mudene bodingi Okumanye bisinga wo Zero musamfu musamfu bidi Ana muemu Chenda munana Ana Ne zero musamfu zero bidi Asatu mukaga Ana muemu Mkaga munya Pasio was junior school butambala In pursuit of knowledge